Hi everyone. In our previous video, link in the description, we demonstrated how to deploy a large global SD-WAN network in just a few minutes using the Fordham Manager's overlay orchestration capabilities. Designed for users of all technical backgrounds, we saw how easy it was to create and manage an SD-WAN network. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to onboard new devices to our SD-WAN region using zero-touch provisioning. First, we will onboard a single FortiGate, and finally, we will onboard multiple FortiGates simultaneously by importing them from a CSV file. Let's start by reviewing the network topology we deployed last time. As you can see, our SD-WAN region consists of dual hubs and a few branch offices. In the prior video, two of the branches along with the hubs were deployed as part of the initial overlay wizard process. In this video, we will be onboarding a third branch to this SD-WAN overlay network. Please note, in the previous video, we also created a branches device group in Forta Manager. This is important because any FortiGate that is added to this branches device group will inherit the settings for its respective region and automatically join our SD-WAN overlay. We first need to take a step back and look at two key features found in Forta Manager 7.2 and newer. They are device blueprints and model devices. A device blueprint ties in all the necessary templates and policy packages for easy provisioning of new devices, while model devices are objects that represent pre-authorized FortiGates which have yet to come online. Using these two features, we can easily and repeatedly onboard new FortiGates to our SD-WAN. Let's now navigate to our Forta Manager. We will start by creating a device blueprint. As you can see, we will assign any new FortiGate using this blueprint to the branches device group. We are also using the device blueprint to tie together other key variables along with the branch firewall policy and template group we auto-generated with the SD-WAN overlay wizard into a single consolidated configuration for ZTP. Once that's done, we will create a model device. As mentioned before, this is a pre-configured virtual representation of a branch device, which will be pre-authorized and onboarded later. We'll now fill out the required parameters. This includes configuring it to use the device blueprint we just created. And since we're using a FortiGate VM, the number of ports we would like to assign to it. Click Next, and the model device will be added to the device list in Forta Manager. You can see that its status differs from other FortiGates here, because Branch 3 in this case is essentially a pre-configured placeholder. Now, when the actual Branch 3 device comes online, our ZTP cloud service will facilitate the connection between the FortiGate and Forta Manager, and the configuration will be automatically pushed to Branch 3. And it will be part of our SD-WAN overlay with all configurations installed. The same process would hold true if we wanted to onboard a fourth or fifth branch and so on. Simply add the new branch FortiGate to the branches device group and Forta Manager will automatically take care of the rest. As you can see, this process requires no intervention on the part of the admin and is truly zero touch. At this point, you might be asking yourself, what should we do if we have a long list of FortiGates that we need to import? Well, we'll now demonstrate how to import multiple devices at once with the CSV import feature. To do that, Let's first log in again to our Forta Manager. Click Add Device, and at the bottom of the pop-up window, you will see the option to import model devices from a CSV file. Now, let's look at the CSV file we will be using for the import. You can see that it includes important parameters such as the serial number, associated device blueprint, which is the device blueprint we created earlier in the demo, the name of the branch, and finally the branch ID. If you have any other meta fields you'd like to apply, 
you can add them into subsequent columns. SD-WAN overlay templates use the branch ID for the unique assignment within each device. As you can tell from the spreadsheet, we will be importing branches 3 through 10 all at once. Please note that in our demo, only branch 3 is going to come online. The others are placeholders for demonstration purposes. Next, click on the Add Files link or simply drag and drop your CSV file into the gray box. Once you are ready, click Next to proceed with the import. Our import is now complete. You can see that multiple model devices have been added to the Fortin Manager. All we need to do now is to wait for these branch FortiGates to come online. And as you can see, similarly to the first half of this video, Branch 3 is automatically onboarded when it comes online. No user intervention required. To confirm that Branch 3 has joined as part of our overlay, we will now go to our SD-WAN monitor, and Branch 3 is indeed now part of our SD-WAN. In just a matter of minutes, we've onboarded a new Ford gate to our SD-WAN overlay network via ZTP two different ways. These easy to follow steps make zero touch provisioning new Ford gates to an SD-WAN overlay a breeze and can be a massive time saver. If you found today's video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.